You be putting out a concert in this world that we living in right now, whether it's a pandemic, scandemic, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. And in this day and age, I'm hoping that people see as quick as you get it. It's like dope money. Come quick, leave quick. So when it comes to this technology, exactly what it is, you got instant gratification. They even touch as many people with it as quick as they want to go. They can pull it from. And right now we're talking about, are we talking about a virus? A virus, that's what we talk about, SARS, MERS, bird, swine, Ebola, now Corona. Like, come on, folks. I mean, you got to really, you got to read the tea leaves, bro. You got the devil's in the details. And with that said is, if you look at the recovery numbers on what we're talking about, I don't know what it is, but I guess the flu went on vacation on this year. Heart attacks went on vacation. vacation this year. Everything went on vacation this year when it came to, I'm talking about, oh, you know, what we're going through right now. Okay. And let's just call a spade a spade. And the reason I can have this conversation is because my family comes from communism. They fled communism. They had everything taken away from them. Everybody got murdered. Everybody got killed. And that's the reason me, being a first-generation Cuban-American, or maybe us, being first-generation Cuban-Americans, I look at freedom and I appreciate that shit. I appreciate opportunity. I appreciate anything that you give me. All I need is a little slip, partner, and I got you. And that comes from the fact that when a Castro took over everything, and I'm looking at what's going on right now, the only person here that's hot, 38 hot, is Castro. He's going, y'all did it with a virus? Shit. Y'all took over the world with a virus? Y'all gotta be kidding me. He had missiles pointed to the United States of America during the Russian Missile Crisis, wow. during the Bay of Pigs and what they went, went on through. So this shit gets deep. The only thing is, is do you want to realize how deep it is? You know, that's that's the way I look at this shit. And even going into this, I don't know if y'all know about this, but might as well put it out there, especially in y'all show, because y'all got folks that need this more than anybody. We all need it. There's a there's a a rehearsal that we went on that went on before this whole shit is called Event 201. October 18th, 2019. This shit came out. It was ran by the John Hopkins University, which is in cahoots with Bill Gates, Melinda Gates Foundation. And this was a complete rehearsal of what we did right now. You can look at this up. They had a patent for yeah. coronavirus from 2004. They fucked like a patent. They a named their names as our So therefore, you have a segment where it says, segment financial, what we gonna do? Segment travel, what we gonna do? Segment, what we gonna do when it comes to online? And, and it said, if anybody is not a part of the narrative, we're going to take it off off online, which to me smells like communism. Yeah. You feel me? And obviously that's what our families live through, and I'm sure all of our families have similar stories. After Buddy and them did that, which the main doctor that was there, his name was George Fugao. I might not remember the verse of fucking... The, the verse I was trying to spit, but I remember George Fugau. Fugau. All right, George Fugao is the main doctor for the CDC in China and a virologist out of Wuhan. They real shit now, right? Listen, we here. Now here's where I go. After all of that it happens to be about a month later, all the main CEOs in the world, major companies, resign. About a thousand and some changes. That means they pull out high, that means they take the ride high, and then they buy low. Well, everything went through, God knows what they did or they didn't do, but I know what I'm talking about, Disney, Hulu, Microsoft, Nike, Wells Fargo, Boeing, you name it, you look at them. And this is the part that I gotta talk to the world about, is that that's the tail wagging the dog, partner. Well, y'all worried about followers and likes and who's on TikTok and Instagram. Bro, continue though. I nah, nah, but I, oh, all I'm saying is, look, man, I hope everybody wake up with what we got going on. And bottom line, what it is, people so connected, they disconnected. And they take so many pictures, they miss the big picture. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on.